Welcome to my tutorial series on Python. Today I will discuss some basic concepts in Python which includes modules and packages. Modules are simply Python files. Let's assume you are making an application which contains different classes. Now you can put all the classes and functions related to that application into separate file and name it my module. So we have created our first module. Now I have to import my new module to my new application. There are several variations to import a module into your application. Let's see four of them. You can choose any of the following according to your personal taste and the application at hand. But I will recommend not to use the last one with asterisks. We will discuss the reason later in this tutorial. This version imports my module to my current namespace. So any class or function inside my module can be assessed using my module dot notation. In this example, I am making an instance of class A from my module. Alternatively, I can also import just one class I need using from import syntax. If for some reason I have already another class A in my current namespace, I can also rename the imported class using as keyword. I can also import multiple items in one statement. This is done using syntax from my module import asterisk. Unfortunately, this will pollute my current namespace. This will import all the functions and classes from my module to my current namespace, which may clash with other functions and classes. So every experienced Python programmer will tell you that you should never use this syntax. Now what are packages? As your project grows, you have more and more modules. Now you can add another level of abstraction. A package is a collection of modules in a folder. The name of package is the name of folder. But we need to tell Python that a folder is a package. So we have to place a file named init.py in our folder. If we forget this file, we won't able to import modules from that folder. Note, init.py is just an empty file and used to mark directories of folders as Python packages. Let's see an example. In this example, I have two different modules. My module 1 contains two different classes, class A and class B. Similarly, my module 2 also contains class A and class B. Now to create a package, let's name it my package. I have to copy both my module 1 and my module 2 into my package folder. Now I also have to create a new file init.py inside my package. Again, init.py is just an empty file and it is required to create a package. So we have created our first package. In Python 3, there are two ways to import modules from packages, absolute imports and relative imports. For absolute import, I have to specify the complete path to the module, function, path I want to import. If I want to assess class A which is inside my module 1, which is again inside my package, I could use any of the following syntax for an absolute import. Again, which syntax you choose depends on your personal taste and the application at hand. Relative imports are basically a way of saying find a class, function or module relative to the current module. Let's suppose I have two modules in my package, my module 1 and my module 2. Suppose I am working in my module 1 and I want to import class A from my module 2. So I can use import statement with dot operator as shown in the example. Similarly, I can also go one or more folders above using more dot operators. Suppose I have an another package, package 2, inside my package which contains my module 3 and my module 4. Suppose I am working in my module 3. Now if I want to import class A from my module 1, I could use the following syntax. So using relative imports, I can also go one side down and other backup. I hope now you have better understanding of modules and packages in Python. Thank you for watching and please subscribe my channel for future tutorials.